few people on my previous video um, expressed some disbelief uh, about the positions of the planets and the effect on the orbit of the Earth. So here we are at an online orrery, um, a working diagram of the solar system, and you can find this at www.solarsystemscope.com. And this is the position as it is today, as I'm recording this 16th of December 2016. Now the main planets that affect the orbit of the Earth are the gas giants. That's Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune and Uranus. So here we can see this is quite a normal situation and what we've got is the gas giants are fairly well spread out over the system. So the gravitational field cast by these planets is very nearly symmetrical and there's not much effect on the orbit of the Earth so it tends to be a circle. Now if you remember what I was saying in 2024 that situation is going to change. Now these planets here, some of them orbit incredibly slowly. Let me just uh, show you that one. And you can see here, here's the system working. And you can see the Earth going round the Sun and it's worthwhile remembering that here, the left hand side of the screen, is the portion where the northern hemisphere is in winter. The right hand side of the screen is the portion where the southern hemisphere is in winter. And as you can see these planets here, we've uh, done about six months and these planets here hardly seem to be moving. These outer planets We've got very, very slow orbits. So rather than sit here and watch this for an age, let's skip forward to 2024. If I can get it to cooperate, 2024. There we go, and we'll go to December, so we'll keep the month the same. Now look what we've got. We've got the Northern Hemisphere in winter. We've got Saturn and Neptune adding their pull to each other in that direction. We've got Jupiter and Uranus adding their pull to each other in this direction. And that makes the Earth's orbit elongate. So in the winter, in the northern hemisphere, the Earth is actually further away from the Sun. And this drops the amount of sunlight that we get quite considerably. And don't forget, it's already winter anyway. And this is one of the major factors that will contribute to there being a mini ice age on or around 2024. Now, how long is this going to last? Well, let's have a quick look. 2025. So, 2028. And we're in the situation where Neptune, Saturn and Uranus are in fact still on this side. But Jupiter is opposing, so it won't be as bad. But it's still going to be colder. And here we are in 2030. 
Neptune, Uranus and Saturn still over here. And this is where it kind of starts to open up a bit. Yes, they're all on the same side, but they're all a good distance away from the Earth, apart from Jupiter. So, you know, by 2033, the planetary aspect that's causing a distortion of the Earth's orbit and reducing the amount of heat and radiation that we get from the Sun will actually be pretty much over. So, we know that from the orbital point of view, our real danger time ends in 2033. And uh, where does it actually really start? Well, let's have a look at 2018. Twenty eighteen we're still okay. 2019 mm, our orbit's starting to get pulled out. So you're looking at this period of 2019 to 2033 as being where the orbital effects actually take hold and we start seeing a lot less energy, a lot less light a lot less heat in the winter in the northern hemisphere and this is a part of the triggering circumstances for this mini ice age that all the scientists are predicting. I hope you've enjoyed this, found it informative and I hope it's answered any questions that you have about the planetary alignment. Please feel free to go to this website and play around for yourself. It's quite a fun website to play about with and you can go you can set it to move quite quickly if you want to and see just where the planets are in which year just by watching this calendar at the bottom you can see that alignment form and you can see it fade away so see you all again soon please like share and subscribe goodbye
well, you could subscribe to Arduino Tronic or just go jump in a lake.